Hello again, this is Sol with another video and this is the aforementioned gift box all the way from the good old US of A <coughs> by the United States Postal Service. Uh, this is a box from Andres Crooks or Andre Cruz. I think it's Andres Crooks. But not the crooks as in thieving buggers. <laughs> Those of you know Andre and uh, he's got a lot of subscribers. He's very, very popular. Um, he did a series um, called Help Me To Help You. I'm not going to dwell on what that means. Uh, if you don't know Andre, please give me a subscription. Um, check him out. He's a very decent, honest man who I've enjoyed reaching out to and having some interaction with. So... Basically, he sent me this box. There's some stuff in here, as you can see. It's it's a big old heavy box. It might even have to be a two-part here. I do not know. But, uh, yeah, very generous guy. Sent me some lovely stuff that I can't rightfully get over here. It's a bit of a mishmash, so we'll make a start. I'm aware of this set. Uh what was it called? Is it the orange and black set or something? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, there's a 1969 Ford Torino Talladega. Beautiful. Ah, oh, this will be for the 53rd anniversary, won't they? That Hot Wheels put, uh, put numbers on for their anniversary set. So... What we're looking for here then. So there's a Talladega. This looks like one, two, three, six, six piece set. Okay, there they are. Dodge Emmy Challenger, Torino Talladega, Camaro SS, Porsche 911, Perfect Speeder, our Project Speeder, and is that Gazellia R? Anyway, that's a nice start. That's a nice casting. We'll just uh, try and zoom in a bit, maybe. Can we do that? I don't know, my camera, I keep getting it stuck on various modes, and uh, I don't know. Can we zoom in? There we go. So let's keep it more card than card. Okay. So here's another one from this fine series. Um, when it comes into focus, we got that... Uh, Dodge ME Challenger. Very nice classic American shapes. No detailing on, we know a lot of these sets. They put them out. Collectors invariably collect them, but not because of the fine detail, because it's something to collect. Oh, oh, right. Hang on. Hang on. Right. Is this right? This seems to be, although in with the 53, it wasn't on the back of that uh, other car. That let's have a little check. I want to be factually correct. Yeah, yeah, it's right. Look, look. So that six piece set doesn't correspond to this piece, it's not there. Okay, what's going on here then? Is did 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 Hot Wheels put out two sets, or a part A and a part B? But this set there, look, it's uh, totally different. Chevelle, Ford truck, Chevy pickup, twin mill, custom catalog, Fleetwood. Okay. Uh, so what we got on there? We got one of six. Two of six, this is three of five. I'm just going to put that there because I can see something else here. Uh, there we go. There's that uh, Porsche 91171. Okay. Well, that's a beauty. Again, no details back and front, but uh, the tempo and the colour work is just really, really nice. Okay, so we've got three pieces from that set. And 
This one is from another set, albeit very similar. So we'll put that and we'll go with that. Uh, thank you, Andres. Now I said to Andre, I'm going to call you Andre, it's the English thing. Forgive me if it uh, offends you, that's not my intention. But it just feels more comfortable for me to say Andre. Uh, because that's more the, more the common practice here. Stick to what you know, that's what I always say. And I said, well, if you got any 80s blue cards, we'd never had them here really, or I never had... Uh, access to him so he sent me uh, Guaranteed for Life Hot Wheels Mattel, Porsche Carrera and you can see this casting is from a different area it tends to be more clumpy very highly raised up at the front two different size wheels uh, in keeping with Mattel tradition bugger all in the terms of uh, detailing Decent white interior. Have we got a date on this? I can see quickly to try and validate that fact. But I know the blue cards were mostly from the 80s. Uh, does that say 2000 at the top there in that? Oh, 2000. And, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Times like this. Uh, made in China, India. Malaysia or Thailand as marked. Ah, nineteen ninety nine. There we go. So it wasn't eighties, it was nineties one. But yeah, I don't think I shall open these, uh, because of what they are and the fact that I can't get them. I'm not saying it's something I ultimately want to collect, but I was just a little bit interested, a little bit curious in it. Um there we go. La Troca, I've actually got this one on short card. Uh, I quite like the casting. It's sort of overblown and I'm sure it's modelled on a real pickup. But I can't remember what pickup. But this is on a long card. So this will be staying carded. Not because uh, of the previous excuse not to, but uh, because it's uh, I've already got one open. Um... So here we go, back to that kind of theme. It's uh, matching generic card art. Maybe they thought they were saving a few bucks on that. But a 65 Corvette. Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. That's more balanced. Nothing. Oh, hang on. No, tell a light. No, Hot Wheel logo there. Nothing on. It is what it is. Um, 1999 again. So these blue cards are a, a bit of a rarity for us in the UK. I'll just come out for that second layer. Now then. Snoopy from Peanuts. I've got two different variations of this and I'm wondering with that wheel configuration if this isn't a third variation. I shall go check with that later on. This is a 2013 casting so it's certainly older than mine so it could well be a variation. I shall all fire on that one and get back to you at a later date. Ah yes and this is where I asked Andres for one or two things and this is a Target Red Edition. There we go, long card. There's your red edition. And this is a beautiful 68 Shelby GT500. I do like Target red editions. Nothing front, nothing back. Nice flame work, but it's a red edition. And as such, that will go along with my treasure hunts and super treasure hunts, Umbrella collection as it is, but... I've got one or two uh, red editions now and I really, really like them. Only available at Target, so. Now then, now then. Oh, I like this one. Not sure if I've got this one or not. The colour rings a bell because I collected uh, 32 Fords for some time and I ain't seen them out, but uh, early times. 
beautiful orange nice wheels I like uh, I like the hot rod scenario um, not too dissimilar to a bone shaker oh excuse me it's been a long day ah, I like this one from the rod squad one of my favourite classic American castings got old Hudson on it how beautiful is that look Hot Wheels Rod Squad. Just chrome work, but nicely done. Uh, that's just a nice variation of an Hudson on it, and I don't believe I've got that one. So that's very, very welcome. We'll try and zoom out some more. I think that's the maximum zoom, so we'll pull back. But already you can see here on oof, one, two, three. This is the fourth layer, so we've got a decent amount here, and I appreciate this, Andre. Fantastic. We have got a Mustang now, we know, because of that prancing pony. Ford Mustang Coupe, two door. Put a bit of Dyson on it. There we go. Nice striping. Nothing front, nothing back. This is from Muscle Mania, and we'll try and find a date on here. Uh, 2020, so this is a new casting for 2021. Oh, mind you, here I am living in the past because it's 2022 now, isn't it, eh? Who knew? <laughs> I only write the date down most days at work. Ah, uh, you couldn't have done me any better. And this is a carded version of what Mick sent in 67 sent me the last occasion, which was a superb 1970 Ford Capri. Now I've got a carded one. This is a treasure. I enjoyed the loose one that Mick sent me. And that will be going in a play now. But this is just fine and dandy carded because of the subject matter. Brilliant. Thank you. Next, a Subaru WRX STI. I have seen it. I think I possibly own one car. That's great. That's why we like longer cars, but we don't get them here. Fairly recent, this one. Oh, excuse me, I can't show you. 2020, so that's it for a 2021 release. You haven't half packed this well out, Andre. Fantastic. No complaints with this one at all. Uh, whew, what have we got now? Oh, I've seen this one. In fact, I own the white version, but I don't own this rather souped up version, which is a gold 67 Camaro with that white wheel wide logo on. I haven't got this variation. Red edge wheels. Lots of gold work on it. Blue. And then we've got this Chevron that says something DP. Oh, let's see if I can see that. I can't see that. Details missing front and back as you'd expect. But this is a nice one and I haven't got this one. So that's most welcome. It's a pretty thing that. There we go. Layer three. And I think we've got room there for one more. But this is the box that just keeps giving. Oh, my word. Uh, Toyota Celica, 1970. think I've got this one in pale blue, but this is pale green. So, hmm, I shall check that, but this is from the J Import series. Again, fairly recent, 2020 date. Uh, for a 2021 release, but she's pretty and not too dissimilar from a Ford Escort, really, which is called by us, eh, Mick? Okay, we've got a motorbike. I've got a small collection of these, Ducati Scrambler Hot Wheels Edition. So that is factual. There's some lovely detailing on there, like the old nose cone of a, an American jet fighter, a typhoon maybe, eh? It's about as much as my knowledge. I hope this has got a stand. Uh, 2020 edition again. 
So yeah, that's nice. I like the military finish on that one. Oh god, we just keep going and going. Uh, there we go. A Morris Mini, but I was looking at what series this is from. Snowstormers. Okay, love the concept. Love the car. Ate the frigging wheels. Do they match up to that car there? No, they do not. But I think a wheel swap is needed on that. Something to do this beautiful casting justice. Uh, da, da, da. 2015. So this is an older model. So I might just carefully remove the blister and wheel swap it and then super glue it back on. I'm getting further and further away here. I think I've got... I mean, look at all this lot. And you think that's a box? Well, no, we carry on, we carry on. Andre, you've done me proud here, mate. Thank you so much. Aha, Roger Dodger. Uh, I do believe I've got this one. If not, it's a very similar. I'll check, so I've got a case of uh, gases and gas monkeys and such like. That's a beauty. I'm not even going round anything back or front. It's a waste of time. But yeah, that's real nice. This might stay carded, yeah. 2017. So yeah. Uh, just noticed my thumbnail there. Please forgive me. I've just finished my working week. And need to do a bit of manicuring and self-loving. Is that a thing? It is now. Head shaker. Well, you couldn't have guessed that better. And I actually mentioned this version in purple, so I've got the black version of this as well. So this is pretty new. Special feature, it rocks side to side. 2020 for a 2021 release. That's all fine and dandy. Uh, and still we keep going. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, a Mercedes Benz 300 SL. It's got this, uh, get it in there. IWC Schaffhausen, so I think that's a special racing livery on it done by IWC. There it is on the bonnet, the hood. Little bit of Mercedes detail in there, as in the badge. Nothing from good graphics, nice variation, and the price is that from oh, let me zoom in there. Boss, boss guys, it'll be some chain. Let me know if you know it. I've never heard of that one. Well, one dollar nine cents, not bad, not bad. Oh, god, and we still keep going. Um. Don't know what to do, just keep dropping it and the cars will become more and more uh, blown up. Now here's an old one with that generic card. And this is a radio flyer wagon. Right, never seen it. Crazy, absolutely crazy rod. Uh, natural yellowing, I do believe, to the age of. Maybe it came like that to make the gold on the car look golder, if that makes sense. Nothing to indicate it's anything special other than it's aged. We've got a different kind of car out here. 1997. So that is probably the oldest one in there at present. I'm not saying that's going to remain that way. I don't know what I'm on earth in here. Some of it. It's fantastic. Oh my goodness me. I better crack on. Oh look at this. Blue variation. There we go. Blue variation. Yellowy card again. Or yellowy blister. And as I'm looking at that. There we go. That 1996 or 98. I think that's 98. So different variation of the same casting. That makes it doubly interesting. 
Uh, we're still ploughing through. Ah, nice one. I haven't got this one. There we go. Get in focus, you bugger. There you go. Mario Kart. Standard Kart. Lovely artwork. Lovely, lovely artwork. So this will go, and this is from Screen Time. I haven't got this one, so this is special for me. That will go in my uh, movie and TV series theme Planos, of which I've got a few now. Uh, right, I'm going to have to knock a couple of layers back here. There's so much here. Andre, this has been fantastic, mate. It is fantastic. Been very generous. Thank you so much. You said uh, you'd make it worth me while, and uh, I can't, uh, I can't disagree with that. I'm just peeling layers away here. Now you're getting your value for money this way in terms of uh, length of film or film in. We're nearly at an hour for the last two videos. Here we go, and this is. 2022, new for 2022, tuned Volkswagen Golf Mark 1. That's pretty hilarious, that, but there's more detail on this than there is what you'd call a factual car. Funny, isn't it? The value they attach to certain things. But yeah, nice, and I'm a Volkswagen collector, so that makes it doubly uh, fun. There we go. Two of my favourite themes, Ford GT, and there's that Golf livery. Does it say Golf on it though, or is it Hot Wheels? There it is, Golf, just on that rear quarter. Ford GT 40, I'm not sure if I've got this one, I think I have, because I collect most things Golf and jump on them when they, when they come out in the shelf, but we shall see. I'm not saying there for sure. Pulling straight in front of the cameras. Look at this. Oh, it's a Zaymac as well. And I'd asked if you got any Zaymacs. BMW M3 GT2. That's a Brahma. Look at how that shines. That's nice. That's nice. Great uh, tampoing. But a Zaymac. So I've got a Target Red Edition. And I've got a Zaymac as well. So... That's all brilliant. Thank you so much. Uh, I can see the bottom of this bag now. Uh, we've got... <laughs> I notice Andre does this a lot. There you go. Is that Andres Crux or Andre Cruz? But we've got one of his stickers, uh, which is uh, themed on the Hot Wheels. And we've also got one of his button badges. So there we go. Thank you very much. That's a calling card if ever I saw one. And still we keep peeling cars out the box. Another Zaymax, Safe and Turf. I had this one. Uh, I've got this one. But now I can have it unblistered. Be one unblistered because uh, I think David John sent me one of these or Rat Black. It seems a while ago now so I'm not completely au okay fait with it. But it's a Zaymax. Hey, what can you say? Uh, another blue old card and this one's a Camaro race car no that one's a Camaro race car that's safe and turf concentrate your old bugger I like the casting shape on this one that's nice nothing back and front nice old scoop suggestion of Chevy bow tie on top have we got a year Oh, there's some in, this, some in the series. So, ah, oh, there we go, 1991. So this is released 92, as always. That's a pretty one. I like that. Uh, and this one, what we got now? It's still go. It's just still going, going, and going. This is crazy. Eight crate, uh, I've got the mint green one. I haven't got this one, and I've got a black one, and I, I think I've got about four or five eight crates, but I have not got this one. There you go, bit of Dyson Vision, bit of crown work, nothing at the back. Uh, haven't seen this one. 
2017 for a 2018 release. So that's fantastical. Uh, oh, there's some loose stuff here as well. Good looks of it. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. 87 Dodge D100. That looks like a desert rally, doesn't it? That one. That's fine look. That's almost like a Zaymac without saying it's a Zaymac. I mean, look, it's just bare metal. Surely they'd mention that, wouldn't they? Is that an error? No, it matches the colour of the card art, look. But it just looks like Zay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Zaymac. 2020. Silly me. I was looking below the I wasn't looking below the line. So that's two Zaymacs uh, and a red edition. That's a beauty, that. I like that a lot. We'll put him in front of the uh, surf and turf, front and centre. Uh, okay, right, I think this is the last regular casting. I'm just checking. Yes, it is. And this is a beauty I haven't seen. Oh, we haven't had it in this country. Isn't that pretty? Look, lovely card art. There we go. Uh, 19. 57 Dodge Sweepside Pickup. I had to look because I didn't know what the hell it is. Almost Starsky and Hutch colour scheme there. Nice uh, detail on the front there. That'll be uh, the Dodge and there's the Ramad there. Top left. And what's that say? Metal parts. No painted detail, but we've got Dodge there across the tailgate. Yeah, that's pretty one. I like that one. So now I'm going to peel some more layers away because I've got, it looks like, one or two in... One or two in uh, wrapping. So I don't know what the heck to expect here. I'll find. It is an Andre Cruz custom job. I don't know, I don't know. But bear with me, bear with me. Right. Okay, so we can, I mean, look at this lot before I get into it. Look. Goodness me. Layer upon layer. Andre, you said, I will do you a good box here, don't you, Frat? I never did. Sometimes you got to trust. So we've got a baggie here. I don't know what's in this bag, but it's it's a Ziploc bag, sandwich bag. Uh, and it's got, there we go, that's that open. It's got two vehicles in there, uh, bubble wrapped. So, run that this one. Oh, nice, nice. How about this, Gary? Nomad. Ah, right, hang on. He said he had some old 